Plus, your first look at a very pregnant Brie. Earlier this season, Frank Randall made a surprising return to Outlander, if only in flashbacks and Brianna's memories. But on this Sunday's episode of the Time Traveling series, titled If Not For Hope, another beloved character comes back, Lord John Gray. In the episode's preview, we see Gray for only a second, but he utters the line, Sometimes, people do the wrong thing for the right reasons. And a summary of the episode from Stars suggests that Brianna might team up him in an attempt to stave off suitors. Brianna forges a friendship with one of Jamie's old friends as she fends off and Joe cast his attempts to secure her a husband, reads the synopsis. The sneak peek above also shows Jamie, Claire, and Ian on their journey to rescue Roger from the Mohawk people as well as a plan to take down Stephen Bonnet. Given that we're nearing the end of the season, the upcoming chapter of the Fraser's story is sure to be full of drama. Keep scrolling for the first photos from the episode ahead. Over six years and four seasons, costume designer Terry Dressbach has turned out Lanter, one of the hardest to define shows on television, a romance epic that spans two centuries, multiple continents, and dozens of history book altering events, for starters, into one of the most beautifully costumed, as well. Dressbach was a fan of the Diana Gabaldon penned Outlander series years before her husband, executive producer Ronald D. Moore, optioned the rights to the TV show, and in 2012, she found herself tasked with helping translate the characters in her favorite books to the screen. Her costumes have taken time traveling heroine Claire Fraser, Katrina Balfe, from World War II to the 18th century Scottish Highlands and the French court of Louis XV back to Scotland for the Jacobite Rising of 1745, to mid-20th century Boston, and finally, to pre-revolutionary America for season 4, Dressbox final with the show. She says she never planned go so far with the series, but ultimately, I had to get them to America. Dressbox, who created season 4's wardrobe alongside co-costume designer Nina Ayres, brings a fan's eye to every button, stitch, and print and her work has garnered a devoted fan base within the show's already feverish fandom. On her Twitter, at Outlander Costume, Dressbach breaks down individual costumes into their essential elements and explains her rationale for each decision. Her timeline is a treasure chest of information for Outlander and costume history addicts alike, and her more than 41,000 followers hang on to her every word. I was talking to a woman the other day who's watched the show 200 times, Dressbox says. When you're talking to them, they have questions that deserve to be answered. There has to be a justification. Fans, expect more because they're engaged in the process in a different way. Earlier this fall, the SCAD Museum of Art hosted an exhibition of Dressbox work on Season 4, and Wizard.com got a chance to sit down with her to discuss her final season. Click through for a meticulous breakdown of each character's wardrobe and a sneak peek at what's still to come from the rest of the season, warning, there will be spoilers.